Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found the Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. Oh, I read that name in the manuscript. Let's make this quick, huh? Totally forgot folks. what it said, but... Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose... Walking like nice he's shit himself? Always pays a rental. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Come on, mister. Hmm. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. So who is the Zane guy? What the hell happened? And... Who the hell is this guy? And why is he walking like he's got a butt plug? It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, so is that the woman in the in I'm black? To the, best part. the heck? All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What? The lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. I have no idea what's going on. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. I hear she makes great coffee, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh shit, she does as well. Look, there's a thermos in there. Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey, this is really good. I told you she makes really good coffee. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for... Barry, she doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. 
I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. Wait, so is uh lights on? Is the Jesus light? Uh Zane? Back to work, boy. And that's the woman. That the uh, crazy lamp woman knew. I felt nauseous. He's trying to save us, and she's Only trying to anger kept me going. Get us to finish the story, and I can't uh, turn reality from dream anymore. But it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. So she's done it with a writer before. What the heck? Somebody's a super fan. Yo, Barry. Took a day for me. Wake up. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Ah, uh, great. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Great. Great. Just what we wanted Mr. to hear. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Okay. Get to the car. Grab this other thermos quick. Are they just collectibles? And then no idea what those thermoses do. Oh, you're gonna get it now. What the shit? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. The heck did I do? I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake. Come on. Make it easy, Alan. Okay, this is where I want your stamina to be super duper good. Alan, don't oh my god, okay. They don't see us. Oh, oh he saw us. I hope they don't have dogs. Oh shit, did I just get shot? We've got to make it to the mine, I think, is where we got to meet that dude. Did we finish the manuscript? No, there's another page there. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Okay. Is this some, like, darkness that's got that Jagger lady is using our story as the basis for a shit. <gasps> oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, wow. 
You can't catch me, coppers. Uh, what? This horror was everywhere okay. I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. I don't think they're supposed to park that. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. You on the ground. Hold it right there. Go, go, go. go. To run. Freeze. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, the crows took out that chopper, shit. Is that the gas station? It took me a moment to recognize the flashlight the grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Team one, come in. Over. Yeah, they should do the job. Team one, this is Sheriff Breaker. Report, over. Sorry, Sheriff, but I think... They're all dead. Okay, we're good. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm trying to climb this door here. Dude, better be in. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Where is he? Open up! Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Danny Brown. You got away from me. Don't How did they find me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got them. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Here we go again. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Revolver. Nice. Got our gun back. Oh, shit. Run. Where did we go up or that way? Oh, we, oh yeah, the radar. I forgot. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. 
Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then it came for me. Oh, great. Alice? I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Called me from the grave. You know, I, I don't know, don't know where she is. Uh. Oh, 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 we got a little secret, a little arrow pointing us to some loot, maybe? Some more special stuff. Hey, this is a little house. I'm just going to stay here for the rest of the game. We're not going to go further because we know there's some kind of bulldozer monster that's going to kill us. Yep, it's given us loads of items. So, boss, boss fight ahead. Hello? Manuscript said about a pipe and then something lunging at me. Uh... The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its back. Don't hurt me. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Get to the light! Manuscript! I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good Ooh. horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Heavy duty flashlight? Hells yeah. Oh, hello. Did you call me? Ooh. 
Okay. I like this heavy duty torch. In light, you can hurt them. Thanks for the tip. Yes, I am. Ooh. <laughs> What the fuck? Woohoo! Oh yeah, boy! Got ourselves a ride! Come on. Yeah, there we go! <laughs> oh, I bet you could get some sick speed on that. Here we go. Okay, that gate is open, opening slowly. Go, 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 go. Shit, are we cool? been this glad to see the sunrise i had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine Ooh, that was pretty pretty cool the coal mine wasn't far now 